And I'm going to show you several results of this published paper. And for the in vivo studies, um, in menopause, osteoclast activity exceeds osteoblast activity to make imbalance of the bone plate modeling. So, but most of the studies um, suggest osteoblast and osteoclast activity. Um, coupled activity, which means it's um, osteoblast activities increase and until no, no osteoblast um, in activity increase because of the supplementation of ice plasma and it will decrease to make um, balance of the remodeling. And this um, most of this individual study is proposed to make sure of which mechanism involved to this activity or um, effect. So um, based, there's a lot of controversy on this and nothing to clear so far based on the policy data. But um, most of the um, evidence from the individual study suggests that they act in multiple ways to maintain bone mass. So I made some observation of those um, mechanisms based on the several papers. So isoplasm can in inhibit um, free radical formation and lipid perturbation. So and several um, cytokines involved to inflammation or promoting osteoclast activity. It will also inhibit by isoflavone and it will increase the binding effect to estrogen receptor beta and also this is some um, hormone released from osteoblast called osteoprotogerin and it will increase by isoflavone too. So it's as you see here, it's very complicated and interact each other of all those mechanisms. But it's not conclusive yet, but it's, um, it makes sense so far based on the measures they suggested. And in vivo studies, um, there's a lot of studies using osteoectomized, um, over-ectomized rats. It's the best. Um, animal model for postmenopausal post woman. So they suggested um, the same thing with the binding of in vitro, say, which is soy soy modulates bone turnover and prevent or reverse bone loss in estrogen depletes. So they um, they usually detect bone mineral density of those animal models. So this is an example of one, one of those studies. And they did osteoectomize surgery. And after the surgery, they provide 15 weeks of um, diet, which have equal or um, estradiol. Extra so they compared all those um, there is part of bones for mineral density, but it especially estradiol rich is its estrogen effect is same as the shrimp operates group, but this um, equal is not high high as this, but it's almost increased than other just the over recognized group. So it, we can say it's um, conserved their um, bone loss by treating equal. And they also um, take out some part of bone to observe the, um, how the bone has spongy-like shape or not. This is obvious induced group. So there's no treatment just, but they just have over surgery. So it has very big hole, just like the osteoporosis bones. And it has it is shame operated group, so it doesn't have any problem with the there. 
and they also treat with sending letter extra view and JavaScript view. But um, extra view has a little bit higher um, effect, but we can say JavaScript group has a smaller hole than just the over randomized group. So, um, so I also summarized the uh, several human studies and the study results various based on their study design and because some studies do um, academic political study or clinical study and the subject group is very different from each other. So we can't say about um, just one conclusion about that but and another problem is we interested in the risk of fracture actually but they didn't have that enough um, data about it but um, and then most clear clinical trials in human human uh, in humans demonstrate that um, they have favorable effect to bone mineral density or bone turnover or necrosis in post and causal woman. So this is some, some data from um, a paper by um, Mar Marini and they showed um, they they collected the data and they separated group by possible and genetic group. And as you see here, um, the placebo group has lower, little bit lower bone marrow, um, bone mineral density, but genistin has a higher one. But I don't see very big difference, but they say they still have significant difference in each other. And um, I'm gonna make some conclusion. And as an alternative hormone replacement therapy, soy product or soy isoflavone supplements are consumed by many postmenopausal women, um, even though it's not conclusive. But in, in vitro study shows they have an anti-reabsorptive or anabolic effect on bone, and most of the animal studies present reduced or prevent almost in over optimized rate. And for the human study, observational or and interventional human studies have controversial literature because of their different study design and um, the subject group. And most clinical studies shows that isoflavone have pre positive effect to on bone mineral density and bone turnover markers in postmenopausal women. But however, um, the effect of bone fracture on, or safety of long-term isoflavone um, supplement use is need more investigated in the future. <laughs>